definitely the message I've been popping off a bit, to be honest. Hey, good stuff, good <laughs> so, stuff. As you can I... see, I've been uh, winning a lot of games. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> can you see my uh, screen on Discord, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's completely clear. It's a proper 1080p, what the hell? Hell yeah. Oh, I have uh, Discord, Nitro, or whatever, so... Oh, that's clean. It should it should look good, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. You're still taking sorcery. Hmm. Uh, why do people take domination now then? Hmm. Yeah. You know, that's one of the one of the things going on nowadays is that these games are really short, right? So, Gathering Storm is, you know, nice insurance. Uh, but sometimes, it's um. Uh, I think a lot of times you won't get to thirty minutes, which is unfortunate, but. Mostly Kaelin. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's just get into it then. Mm -hmm. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, sure. That, that sounds good to me. All right, so this is my, this is my hypothesis. Uh, actually, which one do you want to look at first? Uh, can we go with the Tristana game? Okay. So looking from the OPGG, if things go wrong, it seems like something happens in lane, and then, you know, it just spirals out of control mid-game, um, and then there's a problem, right? Otherwise, you do really well. Yeah, I have like I have my moments. Like it's I, I'm a bit inconsistent in solo queue at the moment, where I'm kind of like some games I really really pop off, and then and it's it's like some days I'm doing really well and uh, carrying games every game, and then other games I'm not playing well at all. So it's kind of weird. Interesting, interesting. Oh boy, this is uh, <laughs> spicy level one already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, there's one thing we can mention, which is. Um, mm -hmm. Usage of pots, right? So this is actually, I think this actually is relevant at this level of play. So if you use a pot here, mm -hmm. how effective is that? Um, I don't know if I'll be using the pot to its like maximum capabilities, but I was just trying to just uh, get it off as early as possible so I can gain as much HP fast enough, so I can well, carry on trading. I don't well, know. Won't you won't you need it later on? Don't Probably, yeah. It's this definitely this definitely a, a relevant idea because you know we have Doran's Blade. We're gonna be life stealing off minions. Um, we're gonna have natural regeneration, and they're not gonna be touching us anytime soon, right? We're not really in, under any kind of any kind of danger. So if you, I mean, if you use a pot now, we will. You know, the benefits are we do get topped off immediately, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, but at the cost of you're down a pot now in lane. You see, how this man is not using his. So oh, unless yeah. you can capitalize on it somehow, you down a pot. He actually has an option of doing some, doing some kind of strange trade and then potting up, and then you have to go home or something like that. So, um, it might be things to consider. Um, Just be a bit more know. conservative with the Mazali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be like half health or sixty percent when you when you want to use it, right? Like, uh, uh, basically, you always want your regeneration to be working uh, and right. life to be working, because you know here, you know, you've got you've already you would have already been healed up to full by now, right? So, mm -hmm. and then now he uses his pot, which is which is nice. Oh, kill his ass! Let's go, baby. Nice flash. I don't know why your support's not igniting, but he should have ignited. Yeah, it should have been a free. Very kill, strange. Very strange. It's okay. You had a really good response to the Tarek stun, and overall, is winning. So no problems. Double Thorns is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is gonna be. <laughs> I'm a bit of an aggro player. Hey, Lamal, let's go. I like it. Very good. Very good. Just push this out. Sure, you can go for a play too. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want now at this point. Mm -hmm. um, good, 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 good. All right, so if you, while we're watching this, if you usually win games, how does it happen? Um, so usually, like, I've just, I have a really clean lane phase and I don't have problems with snowballing games as all, but it, I think the real, the real problem is it's all determined on lane phase where, whether I win or not in my, <laughs> in my games because. If I lose lane, then I get really tilted, and then I just basically end the rest of the game, and then it's like... Oh, I, interesting, interesting. Then, so, I don't know, maybe I have some sort of tilt issue, I don't know. Okay, but okay. If I win lane, then games usually come to an end, so... Pretty fast. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, basing was an interesting choice there, but I think we can get away with it, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we catch the wave, I think. Very nice. Didn't uh, miss the cannon there. Good, good, good. Okay, we can just last hit. Everything is great. Mm -hmm. Eve is top. Oh, 
That's a little spooky, but I'll play it, right? It's, uh, why is this a little spooky, do you think? Let's back it up. Uh, it was a bit of an aggro play, like, and we have, like, no vision, so it's probably, there's most yeah, what's likely... Yeah, the, what's the problem with no vision? Uh, we, we can't play aggressive without vision, really. And they could be baiting something, or, you know... Yeah, they're totally baiting something, because we're, they're behind on AD right now. So huh? they're totally baiting some sort of gank. Huh? And what's the worst case scenario here? Their jungler comes out of the brush and I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, and you're like, dodge, you're like going this way because you can't go this way, right? Uh, we'll so, directly into it, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those, this is one of those, this is the, the, the number one most important habit for laning phase is mm -hmm. playing the lane based on the information you have. So everyone's always like, oh, okay, you need to learn your matchup, you need to learn how to TV2, et cetera, et cetera. And then after you can do that, you need to learn how to play around the jungle. Right. right so like let's say for example you you have a master Yi and they have an elise okay you know you're not going to be expecting any help ever from bot so you should be playing this lane next to tv3 right or maybe your jungle is playing topside the whole game you're not you're not getting any help bot so you're always going to get ganked right so right. that tells you how you want to uh how you want to control your lane in terms of wave management and you know should i be trading or not so if you see this this dude is fu this dude is dead. This dude is dead as hell. Unless you guys can turn around and kill Lucian, right? Because you know they're gonna just run down the lane like this. So this yeah, is the no. things. This is the things you want to be looking for when you are coming into lane. Like here, I would be pinging something like, "Oh, Elise is here." You know, I hope you can black shield yourself because I'm gonna be jumping, right? <clears throat> but you know, if you walk up to hit this guy, I hope you you know you're ready to bait this gig because that's exactly what's about to happen next, right? This dude is a cocoon from a bush, you know, you're getting one shot by Lucian. It's really it's a sad day. So um mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you have this habit of figuring out what the situation is before you try and do something in lane. Um, right. like I mean <laughs> point in point in case, right? You know, at least yeah, at least yeah. just walks out and then there's a problem here. So um so the 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 habit to help you with this is let's back it up. So it it really starts. Oh, okay, so you guys actually saw Elise topside. So we're actually fine here. Wait, hold on. Where do we see her? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Okay, we actually see her topside. I don't know if you saw that. I don't think I spotted it. So I I was but, probably just in sync. I mean, like, no, I think you could have. Like you're pushing. We're 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 doing all this. So I, I think it's reasonable that you saw her. But um, but yeah, that's really that's that's actually totally fine then. If we if we have vision on her, we know where she is, right? The habit I was gonna mention though is. Um, you know where your jungler is, and then you look for their jungle on the map. And right. if you don't know where their jungle is, their jungle is bot. So that's the fast way to figure it out. So here she's doing chickens. You guys, are, you guys are totally fine. So, um, totally fine. Well, that is always the check that you do literally anytime you do anything. <laughs> anytime there's a decision to be made in lane, you have to check this first, right? It's like, oh, okay, at least it's top. You can do whatever you want, right? Um, that's mm -hmm. going to help you, uh, figure out situations in lane right because in, in lane there's two things there are two things to worry about the 2v2 and the jungler right oh okay this is the 2v2 part so what, what are we uh what's going on here um i saw i tarik uses stun so i thought i was pretty safe to do this and like i didn't know lucian had heal so i was kind of like i don't know i was ham on it really to be... i thought That's i kind could of uh kind of awkward right <clears throat> oh, I didn't even have I mean, mana to leap out either. So I mean, I got the reset. I like I like the look, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's just this comes down to a degree of certainty. You know, how certain do you think this will work, right? Because uh, if you ever watched uh, higher level higher level replays, they we would prefer to hold on to our ulti and threaten him away, make him go home instead of. We go in, if we go in and it doesn't work, now we have a problem, right? Because let's say in this in this example, we have an overwhelming advantage. You can just walk up and then auto R auto and then jump away and he's doomed, right? Right. If he stays under tower. So he has to go home. But if you do this, if you if if you do if you go for it and it doesn't work out, now we are, we're the ones with the problem, right? Because if Elise is starts coming, then we're gonna have to base and he's gonna be able to farm all these minions. So definitely an idea you should think about is you know, when you're you're the one with the 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 play, looking for the play, um, when you execute on it, make sure it's it's super clean. Otherwise, you might lose some options to you. So, 
Oh, I see. So because I've lost all this HP, I have less pressure. It's right. Like... And and also you have no flash too, which sucks. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very much... We would prefer to... Um, we would prefer to keep the gun pointed at them, so to speak, right? Right. Like, uh, here's a good example. Here's a good example. Let's say, let's say the enemy ADC. Let's say you're playing Malphite. Enemy ADC, ADC is thirty percent health, and you have ulti in this team fight, and you just don't press R on him. He's super scared to walk up, right? And then <laughs> they play the fight four v five. They lose. Versus if you go for this ulti and he flashes, then you know all of a sudden we had the. We had a gun and now it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of gone yeah, somehow. Right? And then it's gone and then we lose pressure. So yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. So um, keeping it up as 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 long as possible until you think it's foolproof is kind of a staple um, staple in this game. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Three v three, right? Oh, Actually, the no. mid's missing. <clears throat> Mid is missing. Top is no TP. Yeah, so coming in is not going to be great, so this should be fine. Uh-oh, Elise is dying. I mean, not Elise, sorry, Eve. Monk S. This is fine, though, right? We have an ulti here somewhere. <gasps> nice. Uh-oh. Okay, I let's talk I about this. Up. I think I right. stuffed it up somewhere. Let's talk about this. So this is, this is good to talk about. This is important at your level, too. Yeah, this is important at your level, for sure. Oh, my... <clears throat> I, I, I should have gone for the uh, the can't believe, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe they gave you the free kill. <laughs> yeah, the what Lucian the fuck? Is... All right, all right, all right. Back it up. <clears throat> so it's good to talk about. So here, jumping in to kill the target is great, right? You mm -hmm. spotted something. This is foolproof. You're like, okay, mine. <clears throat> now, when you jump in, this is like a league thing in general. But how does Tristana kill people in the early mid game? Um, What's Tristana's kill pattern, I guess? Huh? Like, so it's usually the combo. It's usually like, like throw down E, W in, get stacks, kill them. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. So what does the most damage out of your kit? Yeah, E, for sure. Okay, so when you look at this example here, you just kill this target with your ulti, which is great. It's a common pattern. Finish him off with ulti. Now, mm -hmm. when you look at this Lucian, how do you kill this guy? All I've got is autos, so it's pretty suicide, yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know how you kill this guy. So that means it's just defaulted he kills you. Because mm. you don't know if he has his abilities up. I mean, I don't know if he has his abilities up, but it definitely come up faster than yours, right? So right. this is definitely something you want to be looking at when you're um, playing any role, is when you are looking to do damage, do you have your most typical pattern, your most common pattern up? So it's just on exploding your bomb, right? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so that's definitely something you want to be looking at because you know I think we got a little bit lucky here. Look at this. You yeah, I got, I got so lucky. <laughs> Dude, oh my! Either you're a god or or you had some crazy animal instincts or something, but you used flea for work to dodge his Q. <laughs> <laughs> so that was insane. Uh, <clears throat> and then at least entered into you, which is nice. And then uh, he just dashed. I mean, I mean, you do end up dying, but you ended up working out right. But the more mm -hmm. consistent play is what? What do you think? I um I switch onto the Elise because um but well, she's first of all she's squishy at number one, but number two I, she's like directly next to me, so I yeah, can just kind of, oh, yeah. she's, she's the free target, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, it's good that you're looking for these plays. Now you want to make it as specific as possible. So you see this? This is what I mean by specific. You're gonna jump on him. You're gonna press R. Hundred percent. No problem. Super mm -hmm. specific. Nothing can go wrong, right? You look for this one. You jump on this guy. You have to say, I kill him with auto attacks. That would be specific enough. And then the reason why it doesn't work is because you can't kill him with auto attacks, right? Unless you think you can for some reason. Um, I mean, maybe you can. I, I wouldn't know. Um, but you want to you wanna get as specific as possible when you're making some kind of non-standard play, which is just hit the closest guy, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, okay, let's watch this. What's going on here? So we're running mid here. We're trying yeah. to, uh, we're trying to counter gate this gone. guy. I don't know, like, I thought the tower was gone, so I always just rotate after we get the tower. I don't know, it's just a default for me. I mean, this is, this is good, right? Defaulting to mid and then figure out where you go from here is good, and then it was just, you know, where... Conveniently, this, this is here. 200, 200 IQ, right? I don't know what Elise is... What is this guy doing? Look at this. He's just standing still. Oh, no, he was stunned, I see, I see. Hmm. Oh, no. He's gone. Okay, watch this. Any kind of uh, let them out. That's not your fault. Press forward. We just push this. This is really awkward. 
We can go bot. Okay. Pushes out. Good, good, good. Okay. This is not a thing, by the way. How do I know this is not a thing? Wait, wait, wait. What's, the, what's another thing? I think you guys are fishing for something here, right? Um, I think Morgana is, but I'm just going for the wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Because <clears throat> I don't think that's like a viable path for me to even go in, to be honest. I mean... Maybe if planned out a little bit more, could make it clean, right? So we saw you use Flash for the Tarek E. You could do the same with the uh, Lisa Cocoon. Um, oh, I guess, yeah. But you would have to make sure you, you figure it out before jumping in on the binding, which is really common. When your teammate goes for a, a pick, and then you, if you blindly help, that there's going to be a big problem. Oh, <laughs> oh man, spicy, spicy. Uh, so how do you think this happened, by the way? Did you know uh, this was coming? Uh, as soon as I saw three players and we were two, I was like, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sticking around, so I was just... But, and so as soon as I saw we were outnumbered and the Eve was somewhere else, I was like, yeah, we're done. So that's all oh I Oh my, oh no. Yeah, my Eve, nothing feels my bad. Flat. Yeah, I thought the Elisa cocoon. Oh no. Okay, you know, not the end of the world. All right, so there's some things to talk about here. So first is this idea, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've watched my... How many videos have you seen of mine? Uh, I've seen like three or four of your coaching videos. <laughs> so here's, the, uh, here's an idea here. When you guys are... Um, this is a mid-game idea, right? So when... when how do you know when one team can push mid and the other team can't? Um, but via vision, maybe. Okay, and why why vision? Um, because you can tell who's mid, and depending on who's mid, it depends if they can wave clear or not. Right. So maybe you know we can see who can come to mid and fight. Right. So yeah, yeah. based on the vision you have here, what is that? What does that tell you? I have nothing. <laughs> No okay vision, so. right we don't really have any vision so and uh well you do have some vision you don't have vision of them but what do you have vision of um mainly my it's, teammates yeah your teammates here right so what does that tell you about your teammates two two key pieces of information i would say they're not here <laughs> yeah they're, okay yeah they're not here and even if eve was here why is she why is she not useful um I'm not too sure. Eve is one of those champions that needs um, this specific thing. She, she needs an ability to kill people, right? Is she oh, missing her any ability? Yeah. yeah, her ulti, she, she has an ulti. So this is kind of, you're not really prepared to contest the wave, right? But here's the, here's the kicker is that most players at this level default to contesting the wave, right? What do I mean by that? They do this, where you, you click on this minion, right? Because it's in range, and that's how they for they, that's how they all have some kind of force play on you. And the funny part is that um, the also other psychological habit is that your support will help you no matter what you do, right? So right. let's say if we're standing out here contesting the wave, he's gonna stick around with us. You might be able to get out with flash and jump, but he might not have any tools. So you know this is one of those cases where they just kill him instead. Um, I mean, there's ideas like, are you ready? What if they had flash there, right? Are you ready for that? Or Yasuo's gonna go for EQ flash and, and jungle, jungle's coming over the wall or some, some crazy shit will happen, I promise you. I've legit seen it all, okay? Like, uh, <laughs> you could, you, this is actually, dude, I was in a scrim, I lost jump and they, do they dove the tower because of that. I'm just like, are you serious? Um, you're hell? losing something though. You're losing something is the idea. When you're mm -hmm. not ready to contest the wave and they are, you lose something, right? So don't default to, um, touching these minions what, what how do we know like what's the habit that tells us um we can figure out what's going on what's the habit i mentioned earlier so if you remember just being like i don't know maybe just being aware of where so as you said we could check the way i have the the information on the map and then checking my teammates ultimate yes standard. yes exactly exactly literally you cannot play the game if you have no minimap you actually can't play the game if you have no minimap like 
how will you know to hit this or not? I have no idea. You need to look at the map, right? So before you, I honestly, every decision should come from looking at this. Let's say you have some insane play available to you that can't can't be stopped, even if they're all in the worst spot possible for you. <clears throat> then you need to make sure that you're looking at the map here, right? So, right. oh, no mid laner, you know, your jungle legit can't do anything. Okay, we should chill out mid, right? Let them push us in, and then maybe we can even contest Rift Terror when everyone... If they go, they run to Rift Terror, maybe we can push and then go go check it, right? But um, there's no way we can really fight for this midway. There's only... only getting caught is, is kind of the only um, outcome here. So, um, and then here, we can talk about... we can talk about base defense here. Um, <clears throat> um, okay, this is like kind of two-parter, but... Why are we? Why should we not be afraid of Elise Cocaine? Mm. Not too sure. Like I guess because we have like our like our allies are arriving, but like. Mm. So we're afraid that if we get hit by Cocoon, we're doomed, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm done. <laughs> like, but... so how how do they follow up here on Cocoon? Um. Lucian dashes in. Oh no, because I, I can't because they they're getting zoned by the Annie, so they can't. Right, right. So okay, that's part of it. Let's say, <clears throat> let's say there is no Annie. Let's say right. your teammate isn't here to counter. Should you walk up to defend the tower? No. Yeah, I would. I would agree. So here it's like kind of, it's kind of like a niche case. Like uh, we're actually okay getting hit by CC, but it's only because we're under tower and we can defend. You know, as a team. Um. And you can say their ideas like, oh, if you're not getting one shot, you can always flash after or whatever. But um, honestly, I'm not too worried. I like I like the mechanical ideas coming out from you. Um, you know, making sure you're. I mean, the fact that you're aware that they're gonna try and throw shit at you is really good. So I'm not really not really a big problem. I think. All right. <clears throat> not really a big problem um, that you want to worry about too. Oh, okay. This might be a big problem you want to worry about. I hope you guys kill this guy quick. Yeah, I wanted to ult him, but I, it got cancelled by the rappel. I was nice. Like, oh. oh, please tell me we're out. Oh, here we go. So this is the this is the classic, right? Yeah. So how do we? How do you know? <laughs> it's good. This is good, right? So this is this is uh one of the reasons why I think that um, coaching players at the D four any the diamond level is is most successful is because these are literally the strategy that I use to get out of here, right? So right. how do we know that this is a disaster unless it literally happens immediately? The map. That's it. Okay, so what does the map yeah. tell you? The map tells me that I got one person base and it's only me and Eve and then the, the, and Lucian and Yasuo are pushing the wave so they can easily rotate. Right. I want you to be thinking in terms of if a fight breaks out, what does mana advantage look like here? This is 2v4, right? So yeah. if we do this 2v4, how fast does this have to happen if you guys go for this play? pretty quick we have like, to like kill her in like two seconds or yeah something. like instantly almost instantly like so we can get out otherwise we're not going to be able to leave so mm -hmm. how come you can't kill elise immediately because <laughs> the repel yes yeah, that's, that's this champion is pretty obnoxious right so um we're not going to be able to kill her immediately which is the problem and she just buys time she could have flash or whatever and then you're gonna have a problem right so mm -hmm. that's definitely a main idea where we're a main a main theme we're seeing in in your gameplay is you need to be you need to base all your decisions on the map first. Right. And then after you've considered the map, then you can look at your screen and do mechanical ideas. So that's, I think, the part of your gameplay that you're missing right now is this idea. Um, I mean, here, here's another one right here. Check it out. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Um, a little skirmish. Okay, when you, you see this, um, when you did this, you lost the game if your team, if your team comes. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because we, we they've already got a pick, so we're already uh, we're already outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. So unless you have some kind of fast play you can do right now to to win right after they killed Morgana, which I don't think you guys, I don't yeah, really we, know how you guys are gonna do that. Yeah, we secure a pick and then we yeah. can't fight. So, there's yeah. there's no real one shot here. Like any, I mean, if even if any hits people, she would have to like instantly kill Elise or Lucian or something. She's not even here. So, um, this is like the the core idea you want to be working on is. Map awareness, how many people are at this fight? What do I do after that? Okay, mm -hmm. so map awareness tells us that how many people are here. Assuming top stays top, we'll, we, we, can say, we can assume top stop because he has ignite and not TP. Right, so it's, there's, th there's four people here. Uh huh. So, in terms of 
X versus X. How many how many people on your team? How many people are on their team? Three versus four, depending on uh, Renekton. TP, but. Yeah, three versus four. All right. So, what does that tell you? What do you do in a three versus four? Uh, we we don't fight. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Okay. Yeah. What do you do instead? So we don't want to fight. Give up this way, dragon. Try and trade an objective or something. Okay. Yeah. And what here specifically? What do you do? Mm, I think the best decision here would, for me would be just to go back and push push the waves out to maybe like put some pressure on so they rotate around. But... Yeah, exactly. You want to push, right? Mm. Unless you think that you can stop this dragon somehow, which I, I'm pretty sure you can't. You need no, a push, no. right? So this is this is, the thing is, if, if you guys all agree to this, this is what's going to happen every time. Just, it feels hard for you to do anything because it's actually impossible, right? This is the, this is the average outcome. And average means, in League, average is 9 times out of 10. This, this will happen every time, unless there's some specific exception coming on, coming like there's some kind of specific exception somehow, like you have a you have a one shot play available to you somehow, or Annie has a one shot play available to her, or they're all late game scaling, you're all early game scaling, you're strong. I don't know. You need some kind of exception though, and mm -hmm. most the reason why it's it's called an exception is because it doesn't happen, unless it's like it's very rare it happens. So um, league is about can we kind of. Sure, knowing the exceptions is actually really good. That's how you get to like, kind of be on Challenger. But all you, need, all you need is to play consistently according to what we know will happen. Um, and then it'll prevent stuff like this. Like this is just, this is just turning into a disaster, right? Yeah, it's a complete disaster. <laughs> yes, so this, is, this is how you avoid this is, you know, you know that 3v4s are bad. We should do something else. We should push our bot. And then mm -hmm. an exception would be like, there's one dude low. You're going to reset jump off him, right? So... That's the stuff you want to be thinking about right now it's very much a you're playing based off what you see on the screen and it seems like you know you're like how did i die three times i don't get it right you're strong um and it was because you're when you're handed a losing when people are handed a losing team fight or a losing situation they don't know how to deal with it when they're when they're given a winning one it's easy you just keep going right when you have yeah. a losing one you want to stop it from keep going so this is the is this uh <laughs> What is, is this uh, the same thing that you did? Watch this asshole, right? What is he trying to do? He's... I, I don't know. He's... I... I he's, gonna, he's gonna try and dash on me, but like I felt like... No, no, he, no, no, check it out, check it out, check it out. What is he trying to do here? You want to get in their heads, right? So let's say you're playing asshole and you see Tristana just push. What is your most natural instinct that we talked about? Oh, like what? Well, or oh, oh, clear the wave? Yeah, he's walking over clear the wave, right? So yeah. this is this is what you need to make sure. See, if you're not doing it, they're gonna do it. Easy, easy picks. Okay, easy kills. You see this? He's trying to kill the wave. You see that? <laughs> Look at this. Oh god, so, yeah. oh. That's what. That's that's like this is the stuff you want to be looking for is people's default habits, and we want to change ours to make ours like make sure there's no 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 holes in ours. So you need to check the map. Before you walk up and clear the wave, this guy needs to do the same. Because he didn't, you got they just lose Rift Herald here, right? So, uh, oh, he's gonna dash through Morgana. Wait, he's trolling. He was actually trolling there. He could have gone away, but yeah, that's that's. I mean, if there's a clear case of that, it's what what just happened right here, right? And then you know, here's another here's another example. You guys did it immediately too, right? Right. So I mean. Okay, they, they they don't have these champions, but this is actually some kind of flash over the wall if you're not careful, right? Probably so like a Zach or a Fiddlesticks. <laughs> yeah, Zach Fiddlesticks. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Talon Ringer. Yeah. I don't care what it is. You know what it is. Times. It happens every time. So this is this is the habit. Is you need to you need to prime yourself. You need to train yourself. When you see a wave, you look at the map. That's that's how often. Like the reason why I know what's going on is because I've already trained myself. Even if I'm coaching someone, this looks like gameplay to me. So I'm literally looking at the map as um, uh, anytime something happens, I'm like, oh shit, what's the map look like, right? That's what you want to get to the point of. You're watching other people's streams, you, try, you look at the map as like a default, okay? And then, oh, right. you see Tarek, so we can push mid. You see how fast that kind of information, that, that's kind of how fast you can figure out what to do um, just by what you're seeing in this little square. But um, yeah, that's definitely the, the main thing you want to be working on, okay? Is anytime something happens, look at the map. Anytime you want to push a wave, look at the map. I'll tell you what to do. So kill this target, by the way. He's trolling. Oh, okay, that's fine. Kill this Elise. They're all trolling, right? So this yeah. is exact. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if there's a, a classic example of at this level, people don't know how to handle losing situations. This is literally what we're watching. This is four v five, right? They're trying to fight four v five. What do you think is going to happen? Um, so this is, this is really you just need to abuse this basic pattern. 
again and again and again and again and then when you're on the receiving end you want to disengage okay you want to stop it from you want to stop it from happening okay you right. want to you want to make it not get worse so damage control damage control okay here we go <laughs> let's see what's going on here he's doing the default push a wave oh my right. god I'm just noticing it now. All right, and we're gonna we should kill this guy, but you know your Eve is trolling here. Check it out. Yeah, she, uh, she went. The charm wore off, and she didn't even she. <laughs> yeah, she kind of into that. Right, so let's let's get the hell out of here. You know, you might have to ult you if you're not careful. Oh boy, and then uh oh man, team is trying to fight the Rift Herald even though you two are mid. So that's a disaster. I think I just um, shove mid or something. No, I don't. Oh no, what do I do? You can you can help this. I think it's reasonable to try and help this, right? It's, it's 2v2, so you can just you can actually just kill this guy. He's going to have to uh, win wall somehow. Oh, very nice. Well played. It, definitely not a mechanical problem. I think if we're talking about pure mechanics only, you can reasonably say we're at the diamond one level on Tristana, right? It's just... Uh, <laughs> it's, there's not, the mechanics is not the problem, right? Um, it's the, the map awareness and the decision making. So mm -hmm. that was good, though. You played that really well. Nice. Eve suicided, you got out, and then you came back to see if you can help the fight. It was 2v2. It was good. Okay, here we go. This is the spicy stuff. Talking about default patterns here. When you guys walk up, what, what, what is your team going to do? What are you going to do when you walk up here? The most uh, natural thing. Hit the tower. <laughs> okay, so what's wrong with this? We have no idea where any of them are. So what's the worst case situation here? They just all flank us and we just get completely uh, butchered because yeah. of it. And in terms of XVX, how many people are here? Well... Two, it's probably a 2v5 at most worst case scenario. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, can, we can say Eve is coming, I think. Eve is close enough. So yeah, mm -hmm. let's say 2v5, 3v5. This is a disaster, right? So like, uh, you're, oh, you're losing something. Remember, you're losing something. You don't know what it is, but you're guaranteed, <sighs> almost guaranteed to lose something. You're losing summoners. You're losing ulti. You're, someone's dying. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just, it's a situation that's so poor, you can't win, right? So mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the number one thing you want to look at is you look at the map. My team, their team, what do I do based on that information, right? And that's before you push, right after you push, the instant you see someone on the map, you do this, like pretty much stick this habit at, into as many places as possible. Like you'll get to the point where you're doing this after you hit every CS to see where the jungler is, all right? Um, like that's what you need to be doing in lane too. Um, at the highest levels of gameplay, they take a CS, they look at mid and they're like, okay, who's pushing mid, right? And then where's the enemy jungler? And that'll tell you how, if you're supposed to be trading or not, or if you're supposed to be um, baiting or not, right? So mm -hmm. that's what you want to be looking at for sure. And then uh, if you don't know what to do, default to, you know, waiting, waiting, and then, and then clearing, right? Even though this also has its problems, this is, this is a lot better than pushing out first. Okay, this is, this is, okay, let's talk about this. You see this, what are you thinking? What should your, what, what are you thinking here? And then what should you be thinking after we talked about today? Um, so what I'm thinking is that, like, I should, I, I'm just going to try and deal as much damage as possible. Um, because I feel that I don't know where they are, but. Right. Now, now, now you got me thinking like that. Now I can't think like I was thinking. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so oh, what, what should we um, what should we be uh what should be our thought process here? What do you think my thought process here would be? Your thought pro process would be the fact that two of our uh, allies are at base at the moment. Well, they're coming from base, so it's going to take them about twenty seconds to come along, and then all the other four are MIA on the enemy team, so they're probably here, most likely. And they and, they were just doing Drake, so it's yeah. pretty obvious. And there's a special case here because your jungler is this kind of jungler, but what's your jungler missing? Oh, the ultimate again. Yeah, so, so she just stole it, right? So she's not going to be very useful in this fight. Maybe like half a person. Unless she's so strong she can kill someone without ulti. Um, I, don't know, I don't know. I didn't check the tab, but uh, I doubt it. So what should we do here? Um... Let, me give you some, let me give you some simple options, okay? Um, you have two options. You can kite, or you can go forward, so to speak. So, which of these? Which of these two do we want? I think kite. That's it, yeah. That's it. That's it. Is that, that's it. When do we go forward? We go forward when we're a hundred percent sure that we're we're in a. It's going to be a five v five sort of fight. 
Mm-hmm. Or, um, you know, since it's solo queue, not necessarily 5v5. What if it's 5v4? We can go forward in those cases too, right? So, right, definitely, yeah. Right, so it's, it's bad. We go kite or we push forward, right? Push our advantage. So that's it. That's all you need to know is these two options. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what you need to do. So here you're naturally doing it because they're running into your face, right? Which is really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. And then, okay. All right, any miss ulti, we should, we should play a little slow. But it uh, seems like things will be going really well. Don't jump in that, by the way. Oh. Oh, why did why did I say don't jump in that? <laughs> Windwall and then you see yeah, it's just it's me. Windwall. So yeah, just he, he actually um, didn't win wall the ulti, but yeah, he's gonna win wall, so you guaranteed to lose there. Um, if he okay, was a bit I more clutch, shot, you would have blocked that, and I'd have been. Uh, oh, feels bad, man. <laughs> feels bad, man. That's, I mean, that's a nice try. Um, I mean, I was kind of more. Yeah, I was kind of tilted about myself about that one because I didn't <laughs> rotate on the Asuo earlier and I kind of drifted chasing the Tarak with Renekton, which is the problem. If I, no, if I, mean, I, this, I mean, I think that's good. You shouldn't necessarily have to come help this Yasuo, right? It's more, the more, more of a problem is jumping in, losing a bunch of health, and we have no jump, right? No right. jump, no ulti, no HP. So I think that's the bigger problem. It made it hard for you to play this fight out. Um, yeah, because if yeah. I was full HP, it would have been such a free... Or fight the fight would be completely different, yeah. Have you seen this? Uh, have you seen this kind of play somewhere in this game already? Oh, yeah, <laughs> bot lane, right? So, yeah, this is why it's very important to not play your cards until you're sure, it's because you will, you will actually not be able to have the options you want if it doesn't work out, right? That's why mm-hmm. we're always like, keep it clean because if it doesn't work, you, you really can't do anything. Um, or you, it's not that you can't do anything, it's just you can do a lot less things. So. Uh, when you see an opportunity, make sure it's it's they have no way to beat it before you go in. So for example, bot lane, it would be he has heal, he has flash. Or here it would be this guy just has wind wall. I didn't see it, so I assume it's up, right? Um mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's what you want to be thinking of. <clears throat> the best plays are ones where they physically can't do anything. This is kinda awkward. This is the map where this part we're talking about, right? He kills yeah. you here, by the way, if he has flash. I'm oh, sure. we're so out. Get out, please. No, you're dead. I, I don't <laughs> die. I was, I was hoping Annie would just stun him, but she ran off. Nah. And I was like, wait, what? There's no, yeah. Like, <laughs> she didn't what? notice in time. Feels bad. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. Definitely a map bonus idea, all right? This is just, this is the classic. This is the classic. Oh, there's a fight going on. I should go help. Zed <laughs> is next to you. Rengar is next to you. Talon's next to you. Any assassin and or top laner is next to you, all right? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much... Remember the whole check the map. My team, their team. Your top laner is dead. This this fight doesn't look great. First, let's figure out where the whole team is before we join in. All right. So it's very much the same idea, just on a. It's gonna. This is this is a lot harder. This is, this is honestly a lot harder than what we were talking about because you have to track individual people. Right. When I saw three, I was like, okay, Tarek and Garen. All right. So you can press tab to figure it out. But I would say. Oh, we're not afraid of Tarek sitting in here. Okay, so it's Garen. And then you try and figure out if he's in here by warding or using abilities or making sure you're ready to fight, right? But you want to make sure you're um, trying to figure out where they are before you walk towards this. So, right. did you ever play mid lane? Uh, no, I never play mid lane. Uh, okay, well, I mean, bot lane kind of works. Let's say their bot lane's roaming mid because they were really strong. They're pushing you in. Why can't you follow them in the river? Because we have to take the wave. Let's say you just took the wave. Oh, why, st- okay. why can't you follow them in the r- river anyways they're still we'll, missing we'll be late oh well, they, they we have like they would have cleared all our vision so it's just right okay you could be late but uh what was that's not the worst case scenario right right what's the worst case scenario the hmm i don't know yeah let's say they're playing lucian brahm and you're playing like you're playing like jinx lulu okay oh they're doing <laughs> the they're doing the classic boot <laughs> So, yeah, they just wait. They can't rotate through them, right? Because they, they, if they, if they are there, you guys can't win. So this mm-hmm. is a similar concept, except with not not necessarily bot lane, just champions in general, right? Is you don't know where they are, you have to assume they're in your path. So, oh, and then, oh man, this is this is what is going on here? Yeah, it's another fiesta. <laughs> yes. Oh my, your team won it though, Pog Champ. Who, man, who's yeah. carrying on your team? What's going on here? Is this Renekton? Let me watch it. Where is the where is the tab? Dude, Renekton is actually 1v9. What's going on? Jesus. Save the game. Yeah, those, those are the, the, the core concepts we're seeing today, okay? Map awareness, 
Defaulting to hitting the wave and the tower, we want to check map first. And in lane, you want to you want to figure out how to play the landing phase based on what you see on the map. Okay. All right. Nice, clean, clean, clean. We just kill this guy. Like we ha we have no problems when giving a winning situation. No, no, no human player has a problem when giving a winning situation. Everyone has a problem when giving a losing one though. So that's what you wanna. That's what we figure out. So I want to like kind of just evaluate everything before I do anything with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah essentially, I mean, uh, it's just very much. You want to come up with some kind of. You don't want to evaluate too much though. You don't want to like. You don't want to come up with every factor possible. Like he has ulti, he doesn't have ulti. He uses basic I, ability. It's just yeah. The, I, I think like the thing I struggle with at the moment is just like doing it in in quick succession. Because yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I want to do the play, and then I'm like, if I don't, if I don't think, you know, if I use my time to think, I won't be able to do the play, and it'll get yeah, away. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's it's like a, you want to have like different settings. So like for example, if your guys are losing, your setting would be we need a kite. And look for a and look for an opportunity. And if you guys are winning, you're like, how can I keep this going, right? So that that kind of, you know, if you can have, shift your playstyle based on what's going on in the game, that is going to be able to help you. If you like, oh, we can look for a play here. How do we know? It's because we have even numbers, right? That mm -hmm. that then then you can you know do what you were doing before, which is totally fine. It's just you can't do you can't be like we have even numbers, but you don't have even numbers, right? They have more people, so yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, this is great. Like this is this is why we're like, oh, mechanics are great. It's just when you're given an even or winning situation, you have no problems. Look at this, right? There's no real there's no real problems here. This is great. That, that flash is great. You know, I, I would say it's necessary in case Yasuo had some play on you. So everything is good. It's just mm -hmm. you keep doing the same thing even when they have more people, right? That's what you want to focus on. Is it is it necessarily playing differently mechanically it's uh playing differently in the sense of do you know what's going on and how you should play so right. really it really boils down to not fighting when you have less people honestly <laughs> that's what's uh that's what's going on in uh the other 4v5 stuff so and then here you see garen but you know it's hard to force go annie go easy win if you win okay let's go we win the game here right yeah that's, it's game over <laughs> i'm pretty sure you see how fast you can recognize this idea it's just oh if Annie makes this fight happen, this is five v four. We automatically win. That's that's we, like we that's the yeah. mindset, right? That's the that's the fast thinking heuristic to figuring out how how you, what what are you supposed to do and how you do it. That was a nice crit, hey, Lamal. I was pretty <laughs> lucky to be honest. That's good stuff. You took some of my luck, dude. I had a ninety five percent crit that didn't work, and I lost because of it. <gasps> that's really sad. Yeah, I stole that shit. But yeah, it was good. But yeah, that's kind of. The, the things I was saying today where I was like, oh, you guys are doomed or, oh, you guys won after this. That's what you want to be able to see in your games. Like, I want you to kind of um, predict what's going to happen before it happens every time. Okay. What's well, so like That's visualize the fight before it happens and then just... Yeah, yeah. Maybe not like, uh, maybe not like mechanically. Like they throw ulti they, and then these guys throw ulti. You will do that. You're going to have to learn that eventually, but not now. It's more like a 5v4 team with five people is winning. Or... Right. Enemy team started Baron, and we can see them. We're winning, right? Uh, we wanna, you wanna have that kind of foundation first. But you already have the mechanical visualization. Like he's gonna throw a cocoon. He's gonna throw a Tarek stun. Um, yeah, let me use the restroom real quick. Watch the landing phase. See if you can practice this map awareness idea without playing the game here, real quick. Right. Mm -hmm.
All right. Do you notice uh, anything about the map? Um, would, you have, would you have played anything differently so far? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I would have probably warded Tribrush before we went for, for any of this. Oh, this is... This is, this so maybe... is probably fine, right? We just need to make sure that we don't... We aren't so deep that we can't leave from Zin. Oh, that was a little deep by Leona, Monka S. Yeah. We can, we can totally still leave, right? No problem. It's always a question of, if he shows up, are we okay? And the answer is yes, right? So, nice counter gank. Your jungle's here. Uh, we can just push this. Oh, you're gonna kill this guy. Oh! Thought I had nice it, to be honest. Nice try. nice try, nice try. Spicy Zareth ulti. Okay, push out mid. And yeah, we are staying. I like it. Might as well stay. Might as well stay. Holy shit, and you got dragon. What the hell? Good stuff, yeah. good stuff. So you guys are winning this, uh, this lane pretty hard. I like it. Okay, you can base. Blitz 2, I think, is fine, right? They have a bunch of skill shots you need to dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Here you can push this out. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, no. Yeah, I think this is where it gets a bit... Oh, unlucky run! It's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Nice. So this whole time while you're fighting, what should you, what should you be glancing at? The mini map. Yeah, I'm looking for Zen this whole time. Like every when you're doing this fight, I'm like, okay, is he coming out? I have no idea. So, oh, nice trying to snipe, but you need to leave now. And I'm staying. And then oh Zin my showed, God. And then Zin, I mean, no, Zin showed. Like I was like, you need to leave, and then I saw Zin time, and they're like, okay, now we're okay. We see how that works, right? Yeah. Is that, yeah. We, we we make our decisions based on if we can find this guy or not. Based yeah. on actual information instead of like leaving yeah. it a chance. Leaving. Yeah, exactly. Like, see, the thing is, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. People don't know why. This is why. Sometimes their jungle <laughs> <laughs> comes by and sometimes it doesn't, right? So um, you want to make sure that the things you do work because you know there's no way to stop it rather than, you know, based, the enemy team is going to do whatever random thing and then it counters you or not. Who knows? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the part that a lot of players have problems with. Okay, so if you can just work on this literally every time, you're gonna you're gonna be in a really good every spot. Every time I go for a wave, and every time I go for every time you go for a fight, right? I, literally anything here. Like, you, man, you guys walked out here. You're crazy, right? Uh, <laughs> this Zin is right here. This Leon is dead as hell. Uh, and then oh, I saw yeah. Zin mid, and then now we're like, oh, okay, this is this is a lot better now. So um, you're still dead here, by the way. He's gonna ult you. What? Not only does he have exhaust, but he's also not pressing R. Does he not have ulti? I assume so. This is Troy anyways. I don't know why Yelena is going in, so... That's not your fault. You're just, uh... This is, this is, you're, you're doing this fine. I think uh, if there's anything to talk about, it's... Back it up. If there's anything to talk about, it's this. What is this? Yeah, like... It's just kind of like I've already used my Q, so why am I staying? So it's kind of like there's no, I have no kill potential on him now. So it's... right, yeah. What are you trying to do here? Are we trying to hit the tower? I don't. I mean, there's no play to get, right? There's no play. There's no, no wave. Know. No kill. No way to kill him. Yeah. So remember, the only reason why you're doing this is because it's your current default, mm -hmm. right? So all you have to do is change your current default. Like here, I'll be like, okay, we need a base. So because um, there's nothing to do here. No. And then uh, because you didn't base, now it's kind of it feels like you can't base anymore because you're gonna lose minions, right? Yeah, so, so I'm in a worse position now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's really it's very much looking at your gameplay, seeing what default habits we can change to the desired ones that we want, and then uh, and then when you play your games, it'll be it'll look clean. When given these situations, um, you'll you'll pretty much be doing the right thing, hopefully, right? Based on the habits you've been working on. So. Mm -hmm uh okay this is interesting <clears throat> oh god i can't remember what happens this is doable he's he's tanking it i like these traps by the way oh feels bad though you're actually dying here by the way oh <gasps> how did that miss you <laughs> wowza uh here's just a tip for caitlin stuff you want to put it on top of you i know he did step on a trap but you for default uh caitlin mechanics if they are oh, going to go on top of you put it on top of you so right 
So like yeah. I place one trap in between him, him and me, and then I place one trap below me, and then I should. Yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna, you kind of wanna, you wanna do things like, you do, <laughs> you wanna do things like put it here so he'll approach from above, and then put it right in front of you, right? Um, or honestly, just put it on top of you and kite it out, right? Stuff like that. Uh, but it's really just making sure that when he goes on you, he's gonna get trapped. Um, right. But honestly, I mean. I don't, I don't even know why we're talking about mechanical stuff. You, you've not really been gated by mechanical ideas so far. Except ones where they have a way to stop you and you go for it um, and then they stop you. That's, that's the only mechanical idea we're really seeing so far. Yeah, I, th I think it's just generally the decision making, which is the... Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you're dead here. He has ulti. Oh, oh, that was, that was some style points right there. All right, let's talk about this. Okay. Fuck it up. Always starts from here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Should you be? Is there anything we should notice on the map? Uh, jungle is missing. Mid's missing. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, no, mid's still there. So, worst case scenario, the jungle is like super far away because you have all these wards, right? So, we have decent vision, yeah. Yeah. So, the vision basically. Let's your worst case scenario be a lot better. Because he can't, you know, he physically can't be here because you guys can see it, right? And he can't be in here because you guys can see it. So there's no jungle here, it's 2v2. And if there is a jungle here, he'll be really late. You guys are going to run away. So what happened here is the question. Or, you know, top's missing, I don't know. Maybe top TP, but you can walk away from that. So what do you think? What do you think happened here? Um... Uh, we kind of like we kind of kind of gave Morgana her win condition. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, because uh, she needs to. So she she just got in. She got the. We gave her range. Well, we. It's kind of hard to explain. We kind of. I just didn't position well enough in order to avoid her flash ulti from happening. Right, right, and Leona can't stop that. Leona's guaranteed to be unable to stop that. Right. Yeah, because she's a black shield. Black shield herself. And... Right, right. So okay, so then then that begs the question of how did this happen? What did you do, or what did, what did what happened before leading up to this event? What do you think? For for me, it's very clear because I've seen it, you know, pretty much every day. But mm, I'm here's, not too here's... sure. All right, let me try and break it down for you. Um, the things you want to be focusing on are. What are you doing and what is she doing, right? So let's watch. So what are you doing here? Let's watch your part first. I'm focused on clearing the wave. Yep. Okay. So oh, and then this is a surprise because all we all we were looking at is minions, right? So let's back it up. Watch Morgana in this, in this case now. So was it surprising if you focused on on Morgana? No. Not really, right? So why is it a surprising game? Because uh, I'm I'm focused on the too focused on the wrong things. I'm focused yeah, on the way as default yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. You're if you you're looking at these minions. You're like, we gotta figure out how to kill these minions. When in fact, you need to make sure that you're dealing with the two v two first, right? I mean, this is a common problem with against Draven is he's gonna run straight at you. We go for this minion. He throws an E and you die, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean that happens to me all the time or Lucian too any of these any of these champions so you want to prioritize this 2v2 idea first over the minions don't worry about the minions okay there's a lot of focus on minions um and it's good that the there it's good that there is focus but you don't want to focus on it when there is a fight about to happen or a fight that could happen right, you want to make sure this fight goes well before we care about any of these minions like here for example we're not hitting minions because we need to get here in time right Oh, right. easy, easy W. Clean, baby. Very nice. I like how you used Leon as a meat shield there. To, uh, <laughs> just in case there was a binding. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, okay. Very nice. Push us out. I think you saw Zin top, so we're good. This is 1v2. Sure, base, go home. You're going to just buy all this stuff. Sure, sure, sure. You can push us out. Nice. Oh, feels bad. They were coming for you, right? Yeah. Well, it, I think it was... Mm. 
Oh no. I thought I was kind of safe, but I wasn't as I don't know. I don't know why I felt I was safe. Well, you thought you had um all your sums on. So, I think you can say it's reasonably safe, right? Yeah, and I thought like the pressure from all my teammates being a mid would be uh, would be enough to stop some sort of catching of me, but apparently not. So how if you now that you know Zin's coming for you, would you play this any differently? Um, I probably would have. I probably would have made sure that I didn't check that what, the position of him, or just just tried to have some vision, I guess. But I have no well, vision. You can't really get vision here, right? Hmm. Let's say he's ganking you, guaranteed. How would you play this? If you could replay this over and over again. Oh, position further to the bot side, or just back in the brush. Like, uh, like here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run down this line, right? Furthest away from the bush. Anything else, mechanically? Something we mentioned before. Oh, trap under myself? Yeah, trap on yourself. Also, another one is trap where you're going, too. Um, so yeah, here, if you waste time using Q, like here, then uh, you're kind of stunning yourself because you're not trying to kill him, right? So, right. It's just, you're not, you were just, you just didn't know he was going to show up. So it made it hard for you to do I stuff. Think a, I think that's another problem with me. Like, um, I just EQ is like default now because I, yeah, know yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't just... do that. Don't do that. EQ is probably the worst trap on Kayla ever. Um, right. Yeah, EQ is really bad. I would prefer to Q and then E, honestly. Like, this EQ is never, never hits. Unless it running straight at you. And then, you know, because it's solo key, your team fights 4v5, and then there's a problem. So it's like, literally at this level, it's this idea over and over again. Map awareness, number advantage, right? That's mm -hmm. literally the same thing. Um, so, yeah. And hitting tower as a default is also another big problem at this level. But, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, when I see this, what do you think I'm thinking? You're, you're thinking... Don't even go for it. Just, just wait yeah, for the is, wave. <laughs> yeah, this is a no go, right? This, I'm, I'm not even walking up for this. This is, this is, this is insane. In um, my mind, I'm like, oh, Leon rolled. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yep, this is a feels bad, right? So this is the same. I mean, you're fine clearing the wave, but you know, what did you try and do after? How? Yeah, I went. Yeah, so oh. you gotta stop that, right? So it's all making my ideas. Okay, map <laughs> awareness. When you check the map before you push waves. Also, don't hit the tower. Okay, you need to check the map before you hit the tower. Honestly, hitting tower is 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 rarely to be correct in in solo queue, in my opinion. Right. Um, so, so like, you, yeah, it has to be like a hundred percent like tower kill yeah. in order to yeah. uh, hit the tower. Or you have to have some kind of debate going on. You need flash, or your team is ready to counter gank. Right. You need some kind of winning play. You can't just randomly go for it. So right. that's basically these games in a nutshell. Is um, map awareness ideas and tower ideas, right? So let's mm -hmm. let's take a look at this one too. But I, I I'm pretty sure it's all gonna be the same stuff. But it's probably gonna be the same thing. Yeah. So honestly, I if you can fix these ideas and it never happens, then you're just you're 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 miles ahead of these people because you know that's what everyone at this level is kind of missing. <laughs> it's a lot of the same, a lot of similar ideas. So um, everyone's doing the same thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone. <laughs> if you remember that Yasuo or oh um, yeah, yeah. Just like pretty much, you can just look at, take a look at anyone. And, and now I know that happening. So I can abuse it. So, uh, so yeah, very much. Make sure these patterns are ingrained in your head. Stuff like hitting tower without checking the map is always going to be a bad idea. Or pushing the wave, everyone's suspiciously, suspiciously missing. Right. Um, that's the stuff you want to be looking for. Uh, so yeah. I hope that uh, Olaf is top. Yeah. Okay. There, jungle is Olaf. Right. Mm -hmm. so, you guys can do whatever you want. Right, that's like literally. That's how you, how I base my decision in lane is, what is your jungler up to? What do I do? Right, because if your if your jungle is camping top, and you push the wave bot, what happens? You you just you just done. You, you get zoned. Right? I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to do, right? Um, you, you, lose gank, the wave. you get zoned. Yeah, you lose the wave. Bro, you can say on. you're, <laughs> you can say you're baiting out a gank, but like your jungle is already doing something, so it's not really debating, right? Oh, uh, this is a disaster. Please kill this guy. It would make it worth. Nice. Did, kill this yeah. guy too. I think I kill get that too. one as well. Yeah, we get flash for this. Oh, uh, oh my God! You're actually out. He is so weak. Wow. Let me watch this. This is well played by you. This is really well played by you. Holding on to your key like that. Ten out of ten. <laughs> that was actually really good. 
So very well played. Thanks. I just hope next time you will plan this out. Like uh, next, next time, I will, I'll be actually noticing that the Wukong's on as well. Yeah, way. yeah. You want to say like, if Wukong shows up, we're fine. Okay. Instead of Wukong shows up, we play as best as we can. Right. Yeah, yeah. We we try to mechanically outplay the situation instead. Right, of... right, right. Oh no. You're actually yeah. dead here to E, right? Oh my god, you got the jinx. <laughs> yeah. I oh thought I nearly won god. this as well. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think well, that's like my default at the moment because I don't check the map as much and I have to like mechanically de I'll deal everything. Just... Right, right. That's how I used to be, honestly. That's how mechanics really get really good is because you're like, I have to play every situation perfectly. <laughs> Yeah. To win. but uh, you want to you want the most of the heavy lifting to be done by the decision making for sure yeah mechanics are not a problem not a problem don't worry about any kind of mechanical ideas for a while nice cue by the way nice. just guaranteed cue right there no way you can miss that right no no way unless i'm <laughs> boosted or something no way unless you're like you know your finger you uh i don't know man <laughs> yeah, you got some kind of like twitch or something <laughs> Okay, and then push this in, sure. Sure, you can get your infinity edge if you want to. That's good. Okay, let's run it down. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think your Magana can get here in time, no? That's fine. Just push yeah, this out. It's a bad old by me. <clears throat> fine, sometimes it happens. How often do you change champions? Not often, right? Not, not anymore like i had a bit yes. of a tilt streak where i was like switching it up because i was like oh i need to play meta but like yeah yeah it doesn't really work that way <laughs> it doesn't really work that way yeah. it's more like how well you play exactly you know? exactly the meta don't worry about the fucking meta like that it's more like damn do you it's it's like when people ask, worry about like champion picks and stuff you see they they'll never improve on the actual gameplay right like, you, like, you can play any champion you want but if you don't work on map awareness it's not gonna not gonna get better right so i think about 10 games back i tried out the bork mf and i never played like mf at all <laughs> so, but i saw it was like good in korea so i was like okay i'll try yeah, it's not not bad at all not bad at all oh this wukong's trolling <laughs> free pick yeah. oh my god it's actually the same thing right it's the same thing over and over again you just oh mm -hmm. uh i'm just gonna walk in here you know 1v4 potentially 2v4 i wonder what's gonna happen i don't know <laughs> Even with his uh, his KDA at the moment. <laughs> yeah, that's actually how you throw games, right? When people are like, I'm so strong, why did I lose this game? It's because when they're given a losing situation, they don't know how to deal with it, right? So that's the whole, my team is feeding, what do I do? That's actually the classic question, right? Mm -hmm. My team is losing, what do I do? Make sure you're not making it worse is the first step. So just this kind is... of like conserve, yeah? Yeah, bide your time. This is a spicy tower hit here. We want to uh we want to leave right oh boy so <laughs> what do you think is this uh is this a common outcome or what um for me yeah <laughs> is, it is, is this not a common is this not what we said was the default average is the team hitting the tower is losing okay so when you see this it's spicy because you guys are hitting it and it's 4v4 so you know you don't know what's going to happen but you know that on average you're losing, okay? That's what I want you to be thinking. You're right, losing so. unless you figured out their engage. And uh, you guys definitely have not figured out their engage if this happens. So, yeah, look at that Jinx ulti too. That was some triple, quadruple assist there. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it was all Holy cynical. shit. Yeah. So, this is, this is what's going to happen. is Team hits tower, that team gets ace, the other team wins an objective, right? So, don't be the guy that hit the tower. You want to punish them when they hit the tower. So, like, <laughs> look at this, look at this, back it up, back it up. So what do they do after killing you guys? They push our tower. <laughs> okay, right? And then what happened when, what happened when they pushed your tower? <laughs> we killed them, I think. Yeah, I think, oh. look, oh, Vlad's getting a kill, you know, your, your millionaire game back in the game somehow. What happened here? I hope you got oh, this kill. No. Look at this. Oh, they're all dying, right? Oh, because they interesting, started interesting. hitting the tower. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, Vlad, get a kill. Please! He's too useless. Feels bad. But, oh no, he actually got a kill. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, it was Nautilus that got the kill. Okay, and then, you know, 
and then oh we're back to we're back to hitting tower again right Outside, so, you know? <laughs> all right so you got yeah so i want you to make sure that um <laughs> we have an advantage before we a siege objectives okay right you need a you need an advantage i don't care what it is you need to be able to vocalize it otherwise so, it's not an advantage because like in that situation we did have the numbers advantage but is is because i what advantage am i looking for you want like they're dead they cannot stop you like Double numbers isn't even yeah eight. Numbers isn't even necessarily a good indicator. Let's say you have five people after you like double kill their bot lane and then everyone's like half health. So, you know, the enemy talent cleans up or something like that. Right? Yeah, pen so, or something, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Numbers isn't always the all, all encompassing defining um, idea, but you want something, you want something very important. You, it's basically something important enough, what you think is good enough. So sometimes it's like their carries have no HP. That would be like game, yeah, right? It's just some some patterns I've seen before. Or they're all dead. We take the dragon. They're all dead. We take the baron, right? It's it's not. You don't have to come. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to look at what has worked in your games and copy it. And what right. doesn't work, you want you to know, not do that. So the reason why we just don't do this is because it doesn't work. <laughs> it's not. There's no. There's no. There's no uh, insane idea behind it. It's just oh, you did this a million times. It doesn't work. So we gotta we gotta check something else. Until you like figure out something that does one work. One in a hundred, it works, and then so it's not really worth even. Yeah, trying. yeah, yeah. Here's here's another pattern you can come up with: is counter gank is a pattern you see a lot, right? Counter gank is almost always winning. Counter gank is on average winning. So how do we get a counter gank to work uh, when we're sieging a tower? We just debate hitting the tower and then run away. They engage. We counter gank, right? So you can you can use that pattern too, but you right. just you just need to come up with something, and then so you can test out your theory and or. Um, well, for example, fight. If, I'm, if I'm fed enough, I know that I can kill all three of them, so I'm going to bait this. And I'm yeah, gonna... yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like oh, that can work too. Um, honestly, nowadays, ADC can't really do that as often. But uh, yeah, that mm -hmm. can work too. It's just the first step is not doing is, is making sure this is no longer our default, right? You see this? Yep. Make sure that we, we're... Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. My idea was like, because Nort was so far back, I knew we couldn't fight, so I was like looking for something else to do. Mm -hmm. if, if I, I thought like you know if i get a second tier even if we lose that first i've traded mm -hmm. so it's fine right this but, is a great idea this is a good pattern you push you 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 base race while they're pushing and yeah. you know similar to how your team was fighting in the jungle you wanted to help now both times it was they they still have missing people so you need to figure out where they are before you can do this right the idea is not bad it's just uh it's not it doesn't work in this case because you haven't figured out where they all are yet so yeah, yeah i see so i, I see three sure all five and then... yeah 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 all five all five and if you can't figure out all five you assume worst case scenario so like next to you right then i have to make another decision depending on that so maybe i go bot after pushing that first yeah bit. exactly or honestly here's a here's a cheeky one is let's back it up let's say you push this out and you hide in this bush let's say it's pink you hide here to see where this wukong shows up the instant he shows up top okay we push mid he shows up mid, we go help top. You see how this works, right? Um, oh, you can see. do stuff like that. You just wait to see what he's going to do because you already pushed. So you so they don't go. Situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just, you know, a lot of times it can be a winning game to see what you're supposed to do. Um, and if they do nothing, congratulations. You just got two waves on them. So here's going on here. That was spooky. Hold up. Oh, you saw Wukong. Never mind. We're good. Okay, okay. Base, go home, run mid. I don't know why Lee Sin's taking so many waves, but uh, your Vladimir is probably not doing so hot. No. Nah. One of those things that you'd want to check before we push, right? Where the enemy is. And yeah, where... This is a common spot. This is a common spot, right? Memorize this. This, this. this one, you know, like the little pocket next to chickens, right? These are all... Or this this one, this death bush. Have you died to this one before? Oh, I've died yeah. To this one yep. before. <laughs> yep. right, so those are all the common spots you want to watch out for. I yeah. don't know. I don't know why I'm positioning that side. I should be positioning bot side for my uh, team. Yeah. But... Oh, you know. Oh, do you, oh, everyone's running in. He's going to get Zillion ultied, and you guys are going to get 3v5, right? Oh, surprise. So it's not that it's not that it's guaranteed to happen. It's just that this is the most likely scenario. Wait, you guys actually win this. Pog champ. Do you guys actually win this, though? Can you run? Nice, 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 nice. We are we're out. Yeah, that's what you that's what you need to be thinking of when you do this. So mm -hmm. I can't believe you guys actually you guys actually won this. Oh, I see. Watch yeah, Wukong. Wukong just Watch didn't Wukong. Hit what is he oh. doing? Yeah. Who should he be aiming in this case? 
Me. Yeah, he needs to burn your flash or something. So I don't know what's going on. And where's Olaf too? What this Olaf is drinking off somewhere. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys won that. That was nice, I guess. Mm. You can you can argue that um, if this is unexpected, they're not prepared. That is also an argument to be made. It's just that if you do go for this idea and you're wrong, you lose Baron. Okay. So it's not it's not that you should never go for this. It's just you need some kind of reasoning. They're not prepared for this. We're gonna surprise them, right? Um, we can do a three v five. I don't know, but so you whatever you come up with, counter, right? Uh, to counter uh, to the to the fact that this is gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just it really is whatever idea you think is good. Make sure you can do it in the next game. That's where consistency comes from. So, and you repeat the same idea. Oh wow, your whole team died. That's really awkward. You can still save the game though. Sure. You have a Baron, that's fine. Oh no. You have a chain yeah. vest. I'm I'm going for GA. <laughs> no, you have no damage. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Are we trapped? Wait, their whole team is dead. Wait, their jinx is in here. <laughs> I mean, all right, sure. I mean, this is fine. You just kill this guy. Nice PD. Q him in the face. Uh, I don't think you have to run that far, but okay. Not necessarily bad. I don't know what Jinx is doing. She's trolling. Yeah, that was just so in. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Okay. Sorry, okay, okay. Yeah, let's finish this. Uh, let's finish this game off, and then we'll call it a day. But do you have any? Do you have any questions about what we've been talking about so far? No, I think um. I, th I think I understand where I need to improve. Um, nice, nice. Because you know, it's it's just it's just evaluating situations is all I think is that the problem. Visualizing right, what's gonna right, exactly, exactly. Before and, it uh, you know, looking at the map so we can evaluate it, right? So, <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Okay, so like, guys. Do I set sort of to make this habit happen? Do I kind of set? Um, do I just? Because of what I used to do to improve map awareness is kind of just like set an alarm and just like let that beep away and I look at the map. But I guess you just do it in certain situations or? No, I do it. So for me, it's like at any time I, I need to do something, boom, glance at the map, right? And then I'll try and figure out numbers advantage. That's literally every time anything happens. Like even now I'm looking at the map, even though I'm coaching, I'm like, okay, where is their whole team? That's where you want. That's the kind of what you want to get at is between every minion, between every... Every, between every like any time you need to use your brain it's just look at the map right see like right. Olaf is chasing okay what do we do we could fight here maybe 4v4 or how's how's Vlad doing in the split I think he's losing right maybe we need to make something happen here <clears throat> but it really is anytime there's a decision to be made glance at the map first right anytime you join a team fight and you don't know what the situation is I glance at the map too so um okay and then that was a really nice push mid you guys are getting some good stuff here I think we end I don't know. Og champ. You guys can actually end. They all died. You have 10 seconds on Olaf, right? Okay, yeah. nice. Oh, we can turn here. Let's go. He's going to ulti back. Oh, he's trolling. <laughs> it's okay. You have heal you in this. Uh, Jinx is going to kill you, by the way. So it feels bad. Oh, yeah. That that was like the kind of... I was thinking... Oh, maybe... my God. You almost got her. Yeah, I nearly killed her. That was... Wow, nice try. Nice try. Okay, they're doing Baron. You guys are gonna. Oh man, they might do this fast enough. Who knows? I think Lee. I think Lee has a decent chance to steal this though. Or you just ace them here. Okay, let's go. This is easy. Yeah, I think we. I think yeah. we. Just... That's just easy. That, at that point, they let you guys in. <laughs> um. Okay. And this guy's dead. Running down mid, right? Nice. Game over. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, very much. Work on map awareness ideas and mid game ideas. Like you know, don't don't push the wave until you check the map. Don't hit tower, right? And map awareness in lane and out of lane. Um, and I think that uh, if you can kind of turn this into a habit of just anytime you need to make a decision, you're looking at the map. This is gonna. This is probably the most important thing to work on next. Um, right. And it's okay if you don't know what to do. Come up with what you think you should do and test it. And after you test it over and over again in multiple games, you'll you'll come you'll per, you'll come, you'll form your own ideas of what you think is good and what you think isn't good. So, so it's yeah. just about kind of like testing out your the different decisions that you can you can really yeah do. yeah exactly. And you want it you want remember you want the outcome 
not not the decision that works out half the time. The one that works out ninety percent of the time. So right. that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And if uh, oh another one is if your team flames you, which is the most common habit, or oh, no. you, some something like they flame a decision or something. What I do is always I always go back and rewatch to see if I think they are correct or not. And then if they are right, how do I turn that into a habit? How do I know for next time? It's always about in given a situation, can you figure out what to do within like a second? Right. So yeah, see, see, I would do that if I uh, if I responded to Teams Flame very well, but it's kind of like I'll oh, insta mute. <laughs> yeah, I no, yeah, I insta mute, and then I'll go back and rewatch. So. Oh okay. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah. All right. Well, thanks, dude. No problem. No problem. I'll upload this to YouTube, uh, so you can go back and rewatch. But definitely, oh, no, let me know how your games are going. Right. All right, definitely, and maybe we can have another session at some point, yeah? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I think, you know, the mechanics are really good. They're looking really good. You just need to make sure that the, the decision-making stuff is really good. And it's funny because, you know, your match history kind of shows that when you're winning, you keep winning, right, because you're not really handed a losing situation. But if you're losing, you know, you're going to keep losing because if you guys keep fighting. so Yeah, I have, I have the, the, the bad losing streaks, and it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bit of a weird one, really. I just kind of have... Bad, bad consistency issues, I think, when it comes to overall. Yeah, I would say if you want to VOD review yourself, look at your deaths and say, um, did I play this situation correctly? That's going to help you the most, right? Look at right. your deaths. If you Every lose to death. a mechanical play, it's okay, right? If you lose to like, um, for now, if you lose to something like Galio Flash Taunt, that's okay for now. Right? That was this game, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's that's the most likely. I mean, I just picked out what I thought would be most statistically most likely to screw you he, over. He was but, in brushes and uh, all sorts and just uh, flashing on me. Oh, yeah. If you lose the mechanical idea, it's okay. I think your mechanical ideas are really good so far. Um, uh, but if you lose to a situational idea like four v five, we should be you should be most concerned about that. Okay. Right. Okay. Ready? Cool. 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 Good luck in your games. And Thank yeah, you, definitely man. let me know how things are going, okay? Will do. Okay. See you later. Alrighty, man. Have a good one. Bye.